Hey Rockbags, it's Jay. Today I'm going to show you how to play older versions of Steam games, particularly Grounded, because a lot of my fans have been asking after I recently showed them how to do this, or some videos, but this would work for any game that has support for it. Now some games have automatic time capsule support, things like The Long Dark, and there is also a way that you can play older versions of games like Ark. I'm going to show you how to activate them at the end of the video, but it is going to be focused on accessing older versions of Steam branches for your favorite games. And today, Grounded is obviously the big example. Like I said, I've done a bunch of videos taking a look at the past updates to see how things have changed. It's a very niche video, this one. It's not gonna get a lot of views, so I'd really appreciate if you did sling a like if you found it useful. Any questions, let me know, and come and join my Discord for more tips, as also all the version updates for Grounded I'll have in a Discord channel, so you can easily try them out for yourself. Let's go. So a few things we need to prep. I've got a big safety net that I think you should do, but it's not absolutely necessary. You looked in files and then obviously went to where grounded is normally stored. I think it's a good idea to copy and paste that as a, another download ready, just in case anything goes wrong. Technically, when you're downloading an older version of the game, it should appear in a different folder altogether. So it should never overwrite your current progress. But you never know with the mistakes that get made sometimes. I still think it's worth copying and pasting this somewhere just in case keeping the latest version. With the older versions that you download, you can actually paste them in this folder and it means that you can boot up the game from Steam directly instead of always having to actually choose the .exe file from the folder that we're going to find in a minute. But it's worth chucking it in there as I do think it's a good safety precaution. So next up, we're going to find the DB site. Now there's a couple of these. Basically, you're trying to find all the data on your game that you want to play. I use steamdb.info. Type the app number in, or just look it up, type the name. Then you've got a whole bunch of different information here. What you're looking for is the depots. You're going to need to keep track of the depot number for the game. So you can see here it's main windows. And then usually it's going to be one of the biggest files here. So after the app number, which should be appearing at the front as soon as you looked it up on Steam DB, you want that number. Anyway, click on the main windows. Then you've got files, packages, and manifests. So once you click on manifests, you then scroll down, and these are all the different updates that have hit the game. Some of them are hot fixes, some of them are different versions for the public test only. So obviously you just want the main ones. One of the earliest that I have tried in my most recent videos is this one. And that's about two weeks after Grounded first launched. Pretty much thinking it was maybe just a little hotfix update. By rights, the very first update that you should be able to play is maybe this one. But sometimes you can come across issues if they're not available. How do you check which updates are what? Well, obviously you've got the numbers and you've got the date that they were released. So then you might want to use something like the wiki for the game. Quick and easy way to go through some of the updates and see which one was what. And if it's a good one, it's got some decent links, it will take you to that actual update. Also, you can go and check through the patch notes and stuff on the actual website. This was Grounded's full original release back in early access in 2020, July 28th. So what you need from this is this number. You need to go ahead, copy it, help yourself labeling it right. Release day 2020, and just save that for now. Big shout out to Spicy aka Invite, who also got me the version numbers or the update numbers for pretty much every single major update for Grounded. And this is how I was able to go through some of them at speed and show some of the stuff off. I'll have this list specifically for Grounded fans in my Discord if you want to try this out yourself. So you get the idea. Cross-reference what the update date is or when the update came out and then come here and see what date it was. Make sure it's not a public test one as they often don't work. It's got to be just a regular and obviously if you see more or there's two updates in the same day, then one of them is likely to be a quick hotfix. Now open up Steam, press the Windows and R key on your keyboard, and we're going to have Steam, and then we're going to have this command listed. This is how you're going to open up the Steam console. Press OK. And if nothing happens, make sure you haven't got family mode on, as that can restrict it. And try it one more time. And there you go, it should open up the console now. Now all you've got to do is type in, or as soon as you start pressing it, the keys, it should open up. And there you can see Download Depot is the second option. And then there's two numbers that you need to input first before that number that we had just saved. The app ID is this number, 
So that's the first number that needs to go in. That will be the main number as soon as you look it up the game on SteamDB. 962130. Oh. Then leave a space, and then you need to put the depot number in. And if you see on that same page underneath apps, it should have the depot ID listed. If you've chosen the wrong branch or the wrong package, then it will be a different number. But in this case, and I think in most, it's pretty much the same number, but just with a one at the end instead of a zero. So nine, six, two, one, three, one. Leave another space. Then we're gonna take that big long number that we saved earlier, and we're gonna go ahead and paste that in too. And all we gotta do is press enter. Now it takes a while. It's effectively downloading a full version of the game, or at least that branch anyway. So if you're playing Art Survival Evolved, which I think you could probably do this with, it's gonna take a long ass time to download, obviously that, as it's one of the biggest games going. But Grounded is around seven to maybe 10 GB, depending on what update or whatever else has got going on. It might seem like nothing's really happening. The way that you can check is by going to, right click on Start and look on Task Manager. You should hopefully see a lot of activity underneath network and maybe memory as well with the Steam app. Some stuff will pop up like load config for local override path. That means it's on the right track. And when you see the downloading depot, this has got to be a big number. In the brackets here, it's like zero. You're downloading a empty version. Basically, there won't be an update or the old version of the game to play. Anyway, after a while, could be five minutes, could be 10, like I said, depending on the size, this should pop up. Depot download complete, and it will show you where the game has now been filed. Usually it'll be under program files, and that's where we're gonna to go to next. So program files, Steam, Steam apps, and then content. And that's where your game will be. I've done this with Core Keeper in the past as well, hence why that's there. So click on that, click on the depot, and then all you have to do is always launch the game from this actual place. Never directly from Steam, instead always click on this one. And there we go. 0.1.0.2 pretty much the earliest version of Grounded you can play. No custom mode, just the base version will load it up. Your progress will be saved in that exact same spot so you can just carry on playing this version as much as you want and obviously whenever you want to maybe advance to the next you just have to go through that same process back when there was nothing on the whiteboard you can clearly see the old UI as well so many changes desperately needed for it so you just close and save the game as you normally would and then just exit out so to repeat you go to steam db type in the name of the game that you want that's the app number that's going to be the first number you need when we go to paste it in the steam console this is the depot number you click on that it will list all of the different manifests here and that's what you scroll down and find whatever update it is you want to try Let's take a look at the hot and hazy update, the Doom and Shroom. The first time the Broodmother was added properly, brand new pets, crossbow, and of course a whole bunch of mushroom pieces, not to mention the oven, the grinder, and more. When did it come out? June the 30th. Find June here on the list. 2021, June. There we go. So that's the number that we need to copy as well. Download Depot, go ahead and copy paste that number. And I'm simply gonna go ahead and copy and paste the app ID and the Depot. And there you go, eventually it will pop up. Like I said, it can take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes. If it says there's a bunch of errors here and nothing's going on with your task manager, then yeah, just go ahead and do the same thing again. Also, if it seemed to do it very, very quickly, there might be an issue, especially if it doesn't have a lot of actual byte space, or if it's just like low, low amount. Back to program files, Steam, Steam apps, content, and it should be under the same app again, depot, and it will be there. Now it does replace the one that you just played. So if you really wanted to have a multitude of different updates to play, You'd simply go ahead and copy and paste this one in a separate file and you'd be able to start it off whenever you wanted to. As always, you start the game up by clicking on here, not directly in Steam itself. 
Or if you really wanted to, you could copy and paste that file and plonk it inside where I told you to make a copy of the original just in case. And there we go, 0.10.0.3154. The Doom and Shroom update is here. If you are jumping from update to update, do be warned. Grounded implemented an ancient save system. It basically said, hey, we can't guarantee this is actually going to work. Now, obviously, I did have my aphid little pouch and the body pieces of a gnat. Hey, and I've still got it. Look like the UI maybe got a slight better increase. Obviously, we had things like mutations as well. And the map is obviously a lot more fleshed out now. I haven't got the biggest amount of space either on my actual C drive. But as I said, you could always go ahead and copy and paste it into somewhere different. If you want to revert back to the normal game mode, the most current up-to-date one, just go ahead and super quit and buy rights as long as you click on the Steam version of the game in the library here. It should load up the most recent version. And there we go. Back, bang up to date with today's version of Grounded. A super duper update. In theory, you should be able to do this for a whole bunch of games. Some games already have this enabled. They call it time capsules. So, for example, The Long Dark has a whole bunch of them. You effectively just choose the one that you want. You'll have the branch name here, and then the branch password. And all you've got to do is right click on the game itself, go to properties, betas, put the password in, and then it will show that you can opt into this. But not all games obviously have that. So it's worth checking what games might have support for this already enabled before you start messing around with codes. Arc Survival Evolved also has the same thing with the time capsules. Just click on properties on it, go to betas, and click on beta, participation, and click on time capsule. And this will give you the 2015 build of Arc Survival Evolved. So you get the idea. Hopefully that's helped, hopefully specifically for my Grounded fans that have been asking and anyone else that really wants to replay older versions of a game. There are other tools that can also help with this as well, like Depot Downloader, but I do find that this is kind of a little bit overcomplicated. So enjoy your time travel, tell me what you did if you did use it for Grounded, or what other game you're going to be trying to go back in time to play in the future. Yeah, that sentence makes sense. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.